to the bookstore and she said, Hey, can I order a copy of Percy Jackson, The Lightning Thief? And the librarian was like, Hey, buddy, this is uh, a bookstore and it's not a library. I don't know why I'm a librarian. But uh, we got Percy Jackson in the back. You just gotta head on over there and you'll be all Gucci fam. And Sarah was like, thanks, uh, not librarian, uh, who's very confused about their current job. I- JESUS CHRIST! <laughs> so there was a lonely mole, and the, uh, the mole wanted to find a partner. So it went out, out of its hole, to search, and find its- it's it's partner in time in crime for life. It's important for all moles to have a good partner. And the the mole, you know, when it went out of its hole, first thing it saw outside of the dirt and grass around it is that there was a cricket, and the cricket was uh, was playing a playing a really really nice tune. Uh, and the okay. And the the, the, the the mole was like, hey, can you teach me how to play that? I could find a good mate like that. Ugh. <laughs> I think I was really close. Each day, Mark went out of his house to get into his car. And inside of his car is a lot of mail. Because guess what? Mark was a mailman. And Mark was really doing a really good job, you know, working as a mail boy. But one day, one day he got a competitor. This name was Jimmy Fly. Jimmy Fly got shot in the head of a mark. <laughs> there was this bird. Bird's name was Floxy. Floxy really liked flying around in the sky. But one time there was going to be a bird tournament going up. And in this bird tournament, they got to until they fucking die. Got them. GG's. I don't know where I was going with that one. One day there was a raven. And the raven said, I want the powers of the sun. And so the, the raven said, uh, I'm, I want the powers of the sun again. And uh, her, her friend, who was a cat, was like, don't repeat yourself. It's really silly of you, raven. And the raven said, that's OK. I repeat myself a lot, and it just happens. I repeat myself a lot and it just happens. And the cat's like, you just did it again. Also, why do you want the powers of the sun, you raven? Like, what? you're a raven, you don't need the powers of the sun. But the raven said that the sun is very powerful, and with that power, they could fucking blow up the cat. They didn't like the cat very much. So one day, there was a cube. Ooh. And the cube it was, you know, uh, you know, just going around trying to have a good day. But one day, this uh, this cone oh. walks up to it. You know, not walks. It, it rolls up to it, and the cone said, "Hello, you know all of your friends, all of your shaped friends, the triangle, the the sphere, the 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 pyramid. Well, I'm going to turn them all into cones with the power of guitar, and." Then it started playing this really sick riff, and th the cube didn't know what to do about it. It couldn't play guitar, but it could do one thing, and it decided, well, that's the one thing that I gotta do. And the cube, it, it, it took out a saxophone, it started playing the lick, it started playing the Mario Kart lick, it started doing so much, so, so many different kinds of songs, and. The, the cone, it just died instantly. The cone just exploded. Alright. So Jerry, he likes making ice cream. And uh, one day he said, Okay, I need to make the greatest ice cream co flavor combination that people have never heard of. And Jerry uh, got shot instantly. You're not supposed to do that. What is this level? Metamorph Re Revolutions. Uh, backgrounds took his really good menu that I like a lot, and then he said, what if I make it like bullet hell, I guess? And then, now this is my favorite challenge level of all time. <laughs> and I'm trying to beat it. Max and Mary were, uh, were trying to make the weirdest sandwiches. Max said, I got a weird sandwich right here. He takes the salmon, and then he takes some mayonnaise, 
and he he puts man you know he, he spreads the mayonnaise all over the salmon. The salmon just becomes alive and murders him instantly. He doesn't like it. So one day, the, the Girl Scouts decided to watch a movie, and one of the Girl Scouts said, "Hey, let's watch The Sopranos. I want to learn how to. I want to learn how to you know uh, train my soprano voice." But one of the other girls was like, "Hey, that's not a good idea." You see, The Sopranos is actually about the Italian Mafia. And then they just showed up at their house and murdered them all. Why does everything end with them dying? I should stop doing that. It's finally time to enter the bike tournament! We're going to, me and my friends have gotten together and trained the best we can, and we're going to win this. We're going to win the bike tournament, but there's, there's multiple facets of this. It's not just racing. You see, we need to be able to get through obstacle courses, and we also need to be able to show off our bike skills with many different stunts to impress the judges. If you don't impress the judges, then they'll kill you in real life. Damn it, I did it again! Timon and Pumbo are going out on a new adventure where they decided to leave the jungle and walk past that entire desert that they got lost in before and then somehow ended up in the jungle again. Why was there a desert in Lion King 1 half Lion King shows? I don't know, a little weird. But they decided, you know, we're gonna get through this whole place because we want to find some place that might even be better than Hakuna Matata. Unfortunately, they decided not to go. They didn't die! They didn't die! One day, there was a man who found a map, a treasure map in fact, that's, well, that led into a dungeon that was surrounded by a, a lake. Surrounded by a lake? What do you mean it's surrounded by a lake? Well, you see, my friend, pal, buddy, old skim, pal, buddy, jammer, fam, friend? I don't know. <laughs> Alright. The racers are at the fucking start. They're gonna start. They're gonna go. What do you what do you, what do you say, Jimmy? What do you what do you say? What's gonna go on in this race? You don't you don't sound really into it, pal. You're I think you're uh are, are you doing okay? Look, man, I just I'm a little tired. I I know I might be saying a bunch of weird shit today, but uh, yeah, we're we're just. You know, we're, we're just here to commentate. It doesn't matter if we're doing that good. I'm sure, I'm sure the audience is doing, doing just fine. Well, all right there. Well, let's say, well, let, let, let's see, let's see. So far, we've had a lot of different, uh, different events going on at this race. And by different events, I mean that, I don't know, I don't know. I, I'm losing it, I'm losing it. So I was reading this really good book lately. Basically, there's a there's this cat, right? And the cat is trying to find their home because they're lost. But the thing is, the cat doesn't doesn't know that they were transported to a different dimension entirely. But it looks quite the same as their own world. But it's just they they, they can't quite put like what's wrong. There's like a lot. There's a lot of these like weird things that stand on two legs, and they're just they they walk around on their legs. They don't like walk around on fours. It's weird, and the, the, the cat is very confused. But you know, they thought they'd try to befriend one of the one of these uh one of these I don't know two leg walkers and see if they can use it to find their way home. Uh. Unfortunately, they don't speak the same language, so they weren't able to find, uh, like, they, they weren't able to really discover where their, oh my god, breaking is hard, so they're anthro- I didn't even say that they represented an animal, the, the cat, the cat had four- can't follow my story, they're humans, duh, duh. Hey, we're selling this new product, it's basically the top tier best lotion that you've ever seen in your entire life. What does this lotion do? Not only does it make your skin look clean and protects it from the sun, you know, the double duty kind of lotion, it also, uh, I don't know, just kills your skin out. <laughs> Wipeout's back for a new season, that's right, we're gonna get, actually, I shouldn't do Wipeout, Wipeout's kind of bad. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> like, where would I go with the story of Wipeout? I don't know, they go on an obstacle course, but like, you can't see the obstacle course, so how am I supposed to describe what everything that happens in an obstacle course? Have you seen an obstacle course of, on Wipeout? It's like the same shit every time, they barely even change it up. And like, okay, did you actually know this? So, on the, 
I don't know if you've seen Wipeout, but in, in Wipeout, you know how there's like a lot of weird people who show up in Wipeout? Well, when you're trying to sign up and like be a part of Wipeout, uh, on their website, they specifically tell you to like act weird because they they want things to be more comedic and obviously not everyone is going to be like a strange person you know so they have to like they, they just tell their they, they just tell their volunteers to force it you know and it's just weird it, it makes the show feel a lot fake once you know about a lot, lot more fake rather once you know about it but I don't know I guess this is how cookies crumble <laughs> I don't, there's not like any other shows that really do. Does Family Feud do that? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> we'll never know. Well, well, well. You finally gotten through my dungeon. Climbed the stairs of hell. Swung across the cathedral of hell. Not only that. But you've gone across the pits of hell. Very impressive, actually. I mean, not many people really get through this hell-themed dungeon. I mean, it is hell, after all. Did you guys, like, I don't know, cheat or anything? Like, I, I mean, I've never seen anybody get through this dungeon my entire life. Just, like, what, uh, three people in your party, and you got, like, a, a mage and a... And a it, uh, what do you call it? What do you call those like big strong dudes? The, the barbarian or whatever? Like, I don't know. I feel I feel like y'all should have had a harder time. Like I had I had so much stuff set up and everybody was supposed to be having a hard time and dying, but nah, you're just like surviving through this dungeon. It's fun. It's it's kind of weird. It makes you guys look a little suspicious. I'll just I'll just let you guys win. Just take the take the treasure and go. One day, there was this woman who, uh, we were trying to go to the store, any store, they just wanted to buy something, because guess what, today was Valentine's Day, even though they were single though, they needed to help out a friend who were, just, they, they couldn't think of a present, so they just decided, you know what, I'm just gonna go to the nearest store and just buy a present for you, but she couldn't find a store, it was the weirdest thing, she just turned the corner, I'm just gonna go, go down the path that I always do, and not a Walmart or anything to be seen, what's going on here, so, you know, it's just while she's looking around, there's this, there's this one, there's this one place that kind of looks like a store, but there's no sign, but she says, you know what, whatever, I'm a little desperate, I just need to find something that's there. And there's this one guy who's like, when she walks into the store, I guess it's a store, uh, there's this one guy, you know, standing behind the counter, so she's like, okay, there's, this is a store, but there's nothing to, nothing to buy in here. She's looking around, there's like nothing, there's nothing to buy in there. And he's just like, yeah, that's not a store, leave. <laughs> Today was Valentine's Day, just dies immediately.